You done good, girl. Tucker! Tucker! He's mad. Where are you, Tucker? Hey! You there! Stop a minute, please! I'm looking for my friend. We was in the cabin, and he went out to get firewood, but he got lost in the storm. I'm getting real worried, mister. I was searched everywhere. Would you help me look for him? All right. Guess so. Where are we looking? You're a good man. Bless you. I I'm gonna keep looking around the cabin. That's why I last saw him. If, if you could search the wider perimeter, I'd really appreciate it. Yep. anything? Yeah. He's up the hill a ways over on a rock. <laughs> Listen, friend. <clears throat> you might not want to see him. Oh, Tucker? Oh, God! You all right, girl? Wish that on my worst enemy. Oh, Jesus! No!
my girl. <laughs> Chum. Chum? Do you want an autograph or a photograph? I'm sorry? People often get nervous, but there's really no need to. I I'm just a, just a normal guy who, well, happens to be very famous. Okay. Who are you? Jeremy Gill. Who? The famous fisherman. I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the New Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this is a book I wrote. Huh? I wrote it. Good for you. You really don't know who I am? Ah. Oh, well. <sighs> nice to meet you. You too. Arthur. Sure you don't want a photo? Uh, not right now. Oh. You know, mothers, they often offer me their daughters. Just for a photograph? <laughs> no! To marry. But I say no. I'm married to the fish. Huh. So... You're famous for fishing? Very. And that pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> and you're selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we could do a photograph. Together. Like actual friends. No, I'm fine. It's, it's sort of ridiculous. Listen, jump. People love it. And I could sell even more fish if I add them. <laughs> It helps them to know that out there, there's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis and winning. Okay. But I can't catch enough of them. And there's really good money in this. I fish a little. You do? Well, in that case, send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for $50. I'd give you 15 Send you fish. Ooh, my card and a map. Well, maybe I shall. <laughs> Only the decent ones. They have to be at least 24 inches in length and 10 pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. There's no money in tiddlers. So I hear.
Howdy. Morning, partner. Who's this coward? You son of a bitch. Just shut up and turn back around. Ah, oh, stop whining. No need to act like this. Go cower under your bed. Shit! I don't want to see you again. Damn you! Wait up, pal! I ain't serious! You've been warned.
or a siphon. All right, all right. Quit moaning. Christ. Oh, oh God. Let's keep this between us. Oh, you saved my life. I owe you. Not that right. I do. Oh. Oh. Now I, I gotta get out of here. Go! Oh. God! Oh. Don't much like it around here no more. Glad I could help. Keep your eyes on the ground, huh? You'll be all right. Thank you. I ain't looking to share with you. Get your own pitch. Get out of my sight, now! Hey, moron! Yes, you. You better make yourself scarce. Come on! Load up. You even know how to use that damn thing? Is that a real question, or are you just being an idiot? Well, I don't know. This ain't a mine we're in. Shit! 
Hey, this here's a private financial matter, so why don't you keep right along? Well, let's see if this safe is worth the effort. Got a bullet coming, you don't stop still. This here is a hold up, you know what to do. Why don't you stretch your legs, huh? Okay, okay. All right, you're done. Up, ah! 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 Got a wife at home?
Okay, there. All right, girl. Jesus, haven't seen anything this pathetic outside a dime discount cat house. What I say goes in this town, you get me? Looking at you so offensive, I may just have to do something about it. Well, look out. We got a tough guy. Rube! <laughs> That fella must have got his in the head. Oh, that was pathetic, boy. Told you to stop. Where I'm giving you boy? one more chance. Hello there. Just back off. You got any idea who you're flapping your gums okay, at? Okay, okay. You leave this to me. I really don't care what you think. Okay, move yourself along. No fuss now. Oh, just hey, don't shit. kill me. Please just. Stop. Oh hell! All right. Better on all of us if you just come on easy. Howdy, Sheriff. If you ain't here to play nice, you shouldn't have come back. Don't worry. I'm bored of you now. Oh, just shut up. Take another look at this badge, deadbeat. Calm down.
You might be interested in this. Very nice. I'll find a good home for this. Spend it wisely. Yes? Uh, I'm, um, uh, uh... Sorry. I'm looking for, um, the mayor. Yes. Please. Uh, Mr. Uh, Kilgore, or what was it? Um, I forget. Quite. Welcome to government. Democracy. An interesting idea, huh? Monsieur Lemieux? Come in. Oh, hello, friend. Hello. Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, really? Okay. Now, you are not going to rob me again, are you? No. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry about it. But you are not a very popular man. There's all kinds of nasty people who want to speak to you, Mr. Tacitus. I know. They won't hear anything about you from me. But? Uh, yeah, there's always a but. Of course, I'm a politician. Who needs killing? Nobody. We are not savages, merely Frenchmen. Don't be ridiculous, killing? Oh, dear. Terrifying, yes. I suppose I can do that almost as well as kill. I'm sure you can. Now, it's all very ethical. You see, I've been trying to open a major museum, a place of culture to elevate people's souls. And what do museums need? Uh, art. <laughs> and how do you buy art? I don't know. I buy art of some nasty little man from Paris selling me some destitute aristocrat's collection of old masters that it turns out he may have been painting himself. Ouch. Ouch, indeed. But these are good paintings. I can't make the difference, and I'm French. Only this even nastier little man from New Haven has come here to verify my paintings, and he's saying that they're all fake. So? So perhaps he can be persuaded to revise his opinion. Oh, he's been so beastly. Exactly. Now, Jean-Marc, perhaps you can take Mr. Arthur, oh, I mean Mr. Tacitus, to meet a little Professor Shitface and have a word with him. <laughs> Saint-Denis welcomes you like a son, sir. Bonne chance. Come, sir, if you don't mind. The gallery is just at the end of this avenue. As I said, he is a beastly man, this professor. Believe me, friend, you ain't seen beastly yet. Not even close. You know, I thought we French had a monopoly on arrogance, but no. An overeducated American can be far, far worse. Well, luckily, there ain't too many overeducated Americans around. Yes, indeed. The mayor had such grand plans for our city and its people. We shall have true liberal democracy, working for the rich and the poor alike. It would be a travesty for this one man's opinion. <laughs> Put that into jeopardy. Opinions can change. Can they not? Oh, they change all the time. Of course. Power of reason is not to be underestimated. Reason? 
Well, that's one word for it. Good, good. You do not look so much like a rhetorician, but uh, Monsieur Lemieux has placed his faith in you. Looks can be deceiving. The mayor understands just what I can do, I'm sure. Go to the right up here. The gallery is just up ahead. There, Mr. Arthur, there! No. Oh. What's his name again? Professor Shiftaker. findings in there. The mayor knows very well what I've found. Every painting was a brazen fraud. <laughs> that's a big claim. One that's going to upset a lot of people. Myself included. I'm afraid that's just hard cheese. Now I've got a train to catch back to New Haven. Hold on. I see it's going to take a fist in your face to persuade you. Oh. Oh, wait. Wait. I gotta punch you to change your mind. I, I couldn't. My reputation. You gonna think of your reputation when your brain is jelly? I I'd never be published again. Academic reputation is really far less important than a broken nose. Y yes, sir. I, 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 I see that now. The thing is, now people are going to look at those paintings and love them. So you're helping people, I, really. I, you know I'm right, Professor. Please not get me upset with you no, again. No, 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 sir. You're right. You're very, very right. So you're going to send the mayor what he needs. Uh, um... Because otherwise, I'll be in New Haven. No, no. We don't want that. Of course we don't. I'll write my paper this evening, sir. Very good, Professor. Very good. So, turns out, all those paintings were real after oh. all. Problem solved. Wonderful, wonderful. The mayor shall be so pleased. Sure. Was uh, Professor Schiftecker happy to change his mind? He wasn't initially, but uh, he came around in the end. Oh, my lord. This is not right. Trust me, I've done much worse. We shall burn in hell for this. Here's open. Here. The mayor asked me to give you this. Oh, thank you. any trouble from you. What are you doing to them? I'm only joking with you. Thank God for that. That's what, what are I you thought. looking at? What is the matter with you? 